Hi people, hello and um, welcome to the duty free here at Dublin Airport. It took me an hour to get through check in and security but uh, I'm going to go now and get something to eat somewhere. But I'm going to have to get a cup of tea my friends at the airport here and a sandwich or something right? It'll be uh, my last cup of tea in Ireland till I come back. I'm just now after getting um, a breakfast here. Scrambled egg, one sausage and some beans and this paper cup of tea cost me 2 90 and the dinner between the breakfast at breakfast there and tea cost 10 euros I think it was 30 cent um, but that's the way it always is at airports they overcharge you but um, yeah so I'm up here now I'm in terminal 2 um, <clears throat> which has all of Aer Lingus pl all, all Aer Lingus flights leave from terminal 2 here <clears throat> a lot of the American flights and um, Middle Eastern flights like the Emirates and Qatar, they fly out of here. Uh, but for a modern building like this, I'm not overly impressed with it because you come into the, the, the you come into departures and you you line up to check in. Now the Aer Lingus have one half of the terminal for check-ins, and there was um, lines ten ten row ten lanes, um, but but they were fairly efficient. It took only half an hour to get through the the queues right um, but uh, then you had to go up to the roof to um, you had to go up to the roof then to go to into security and um, it's just mad the, ho the way it's set up I think it's just crazy I don't know who designed it but not impressed hello so that's the um that's the Aer Lingus Airbus A321 Neo, which is the new engine option. France Bank a new plane, only about probably a year old, right? So that's the plane that's taken me now to Toronto. And then I've got to get a connecting flight then onto Vancouver. I'm still waiting on the plane here to board the plane here. At, uh, it's now um, 25 past 12, so we should be, they should be starting now. You see, with Aer Lingus, Ryanair don't seem to give a shit. Ryanair fuels the planes when the passengers are going onto the planes. Aer Lingus won't let that happen. You're not supposed to anyway uh, fuel a plane while the passengers are going onto it or on it. So um, they're still fueling the plane there so we should be boarding now anyway. Taking off at 10 past 1 here in Ireland and I forget, I think, we'll, I think we'll be I think I'll be arriving in Toronto at something like five past four in the afternoon. This is the A321. Ladies and gentlemen, just paging passenger Irene Niccolo. If you're on board, can you please press the call bell or let yourself to be known to one of the cabin crew? That's passenger Irene Niccolo. Okay. Um, yeah, so th this is the Neo, which is a new new engine option, and it's an LR, the longer range plane. So, yeah, looking forward to this now. Visibility. There are two doors at the front of the cabin, one left and one right. Two doors at the back of the cabin, one left and one right. And in the centre of the cabin at rows 14 and 50, there are four overwing window exits, two on the left and two on the right. All exits must be kept clear during takeoff and landing. Please take time to locate the exit nearest to you, bring a mandate nearest usable exit, maybe behind you. And should you need to use one of these exits in an emergency, leave all cabin baggage behind and make your way to the exit nearest to you.
hitting some heavy turbulence here out in the Atlantic. Um, it's minus 47 degrees out here now, and I'm having my dinner. I've got a chicken dinner here. So it's like um, pasta, brown bread, water, and a chocolate raspberry mousse, and chicken with potatoes. Not bad, my friends, not bad. Having the tea here at uh, 31,000 feet, halfway across the Atlantic between Iceland and Greenland, and um, as you can see, there's turbulence and it's shaking the cup. You know something? I no problem in spending 10 euros on a cup of tea on an aeroplane. Just think about this: like I'm sitting in the plane, nice and cosy, and um, having a cup of tea midway across the Atlantic Ocean. Amazing. Just over Labrador here in Canada, and um, I'm looking at the window here, and um, it's just amazing. You can see for endless miles, just pure and utter desolation. Lakes upon lakes upon lakes, wilderness, nuttiness, and then you might see an odd road leading. I don't know, I don't know where to, and um, yeah, it's just amazing. It's just, and then you see couple of meandering rivers um, and some one, uh, one or two big rivers as well so um, yeah it, it's amazing and it's still minus it went up one time there to minus 50 degrees outside imagine that minus 50 and all you have is a bit what between the interior of your plane to the out, outside atmosphere here is um, about six inches maybe look it's an amazing isn't it Anyway, uh, really enjoying the flight here. We've about an hour and 25 minutes to go to go to Toronto, and um, yeah, this is the. As I said, it's the Airbus A321LR Neo, which is the new engine op op options, and it's supposed to be quieter, right? Now I don't really notice a difference in the quietness. To be honest, I can still hear the engines. And um, yeah, so and the, the dinner they served you was great. I got the chicken dinner there, potatoes and chicken and veg, and a slice of uh, brown bread. And what else did I get? Uh, pasta, uh, half a, half a slice of a small tomato. And what else did I get then? A little small strawberry, what do you call it? I don't know, cheesecake or something or and water and a cup of tea so um, it was good you know <coughs> just just an amazing landscape I have to say amazing I just I'm just looking the distance there for I don't know how far you, far you can see from 31,000 feet maybe more than 100 miles I don't know but it's just lake after lake after lake after lake amazing right progress so far um, they have us in a holding pattern just northwest of the city of um, Quebec because um, there was weather there about a couple of hours back that came through Toronto uh, high density clouds and um, air traffic control uh, are obviously trying to um, was it, uh, minimise the traffic going into Toronto Pearson so we're after doing one circuit and we're going round again another circuit the pilot or the captain said that we'd be 20 minutes uh, of a delay here so um, yeah that's what we're doing we're just going around in a it's like a racetrack you know in the sky so uh, you do a 180 turn and then you go I don't know many miles then you go straight then you do another 180 turn and then you go straight 
up another 180 turn until they tell you to to move forward. Do you know what I mean? Like, so um, he's saying that we should be in Toronto now at four o'clock. So uh, about another half an hour. Right. Hello peoples. I made it here to Toronto Pearson International Airport. Cleared immigration and uh, I'm ready now to have to go over to Terminal 1 to get an Air Canada plane to Toronto or to Vancouver. Right, so see you all in a few minutes. And you have to wear the mask. It's mandatory here in, um, in, in Canada. So this is Toronto, my friends. I'm getting the the, the train here now over to Terminal 1. So let's do this. Right, I'm on Terminal 1 now in Toronto Pearson and I'm looking for the Air Canada desk to connect on this flight to Vancouver. Okay? Super cool information screen where they're kind of you know curved there. So I'm looking here now for my Air Canada um, connection flight here on the display to Vancouver. This is cool. They're saying take take a seat of uh, Canada. See see this here. This is the CNN Tower, right? The tallest building. I was up there and I went up to the very top, up to that point just there as well when I was there. Um, a beautiful city, Toronto is, have to say, beautiful city. I'm still looking for my gate here. One woman there told me it's D24, so... And um, it's closing at 18.45, which is at quarter six, and it's now... I've only got a quarter of an hour, quarter of an hour to find it. Right, I don't know if you can see with the sun there shining, but um, I think this is the plane here. The Vancouver, it's a triple seven. Uh, I didn't think they'd be using such a big plane 
on a, a four to five hour trip. So there must be a lot of passengers to to go to Vancouver. So it's a bone triple seven. I think it's a two hundred. So that's my ride to Vancouver. And there was something um I thought I'd have time to stop here and just chill, have a cup of tea and a sandwich and look at the planes. I haven't had no time at all because I had to get from one terminal to this terminal and loads of walking around and stuff, you know, so I mean, not, I'm not a bit disappointed I didn't stop, didn't, didn't stop to get a, a cup of tea. But however, I'm in Canada now, Toronto here, and in due course, in 10 minutes actually, I'll be boarding, boarding the plane, heading to Vancouver. So, I'll see you all on board this 777, and um, hopefully it'll be a smoother uh, ride than the one coming in. The one about, we're just outside Montreal, and we were we came in through this uh, thunderstorm or well, at, at the edge of the thunderstorm and there was tremendous um, turbulence really bad turbulence some of the people that were actually afraid on the plane there was uh, a young young um, canadian girl and her boyfriend and uh, she was terrified and she was asking me was he ever on a flight with real bad turbulence i said yeah a few times i was saying that once uh, <clears throat> real bad was coming back from lanzarote um, yeah, it was shaking like like a tin can, and it, it, it was it was crazy, crazy stuff. But anyway, and I have to say, the um, approach into Toronto. This is my second time in Toronto. Um, was probably the best approach I ever encountered in my entire life. The cloud formations were fantastic, and the way he turned at the turn onto finals, and the landscape below and everything was just brilliant. So, um, looking forward now to this adventure to Vancouver and I'm starting to feel a little bit tired now I have to say a little bit tired my friends Hi right, people welcome to uh, my first cup of tea in um, Toronto in Canada while I'm waiting on this plane um, the triple seven so Cheers, my friends. <sighs> a lovely cup of tea. A lovely, sorry, paper cup of tea, my friends. That's ah, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I got um, a croissant as well. From um, Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is the... Uh, the Canadian version of McDonald's. So what are you? Cheers people. Lovely. A Canadian croissant. Right. Finally got on board a plane here. It's um it's half past seven here in Toronto. As you can see it's turning to dusk here. And um yeah so I'm on the on the triple seven here the bone I'm on the bone triple seven here right and um that was crazy there there was like um so I don't know what happened something happened anyway it was delayed and but we're standing, we're standing in the queue waiting to board here for over three quarters of an hour maybe an hour I don't know what happens there's only two girls doing the boarding boarding passes onto a Boeing triple seven now this plane here can hold about I think three or four hundred people you know what I mean so um, it's just unfortunate really but Having said that now, um, oh, what time now? It's, if, it's how, if it takes off at 8 o'clock, we should be in Vancouver for about, let me see, what did I say, 8 o'clock, did I? Uh, 12, 1 o'clock of the night maybe, in the morning, so I don't know. So then I have to find my way down to my hotel, my friends. So the adventure is still on, you know what I mean? Um, these are the joys of traveling, isn't it? And and, and doing connections, connected flights. Um, 
But anyway, I'm on now a triple seven here. It's the second time on a triple seven. I was on a United triple seven from Heathrow to Chicago, and now I'm. This is my second triple seven, which is an Air Canada triple seven to Toronto to Vancouver. So it's getting dark out there. Look, look at the size of the big engine. Cool, isn't it? Amazing. Right, I'll check in again when we get to. Um, Vancouver, although I might just do a little thing on the food aboard the plane here, if there is any food. I'm not too sure whether there is or not. But anyway, stay tuned my friends, stay tuned. Well, welcome to Vancouver my friends, Vancouver Airport here and um, it's now officially 22.11 at night which back home in Ireland is 20 to 7 in the morning. So that was a lovely flight on the 777, four and three quarter hours from um, Toronto to Vancouver. Just shows you how vast Canada is doesn't it? Um, amazing. I'm trying to get my suitcase here now. not looking good here my friends at Vancouver Airport the carousel all the bags are going around I don't see any more coming down and my bags not here and all I have is what I'm wearing here not looking good my friends not looking good <coughs> bad news my friends bad news no suitcase still in Toronto so I'm gonna go over here up the line over here to see can I see someone to find out because this is all all I have here is what is what I have you know what I mean so uh, bad farm isn't it I know what happens all the time but still and all not impressed my friends not impressed right people the situation is that they've lost my bag. Um, the flight came in at, at, at half past ten here in Vancouver, and I was I waited over an hour at the carousel, and then there's just two people at the baggage reclaim place, and there's a queue, and there's people going ballistic. There was one um, woman there. She's 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 from um, Vancouver. And she was going mental, mental. I want to see the manager, I want to see the manager. I'm not leaving till I see the manager. And um, she says she has to be in court before a judge <laughs> at 10 o'clock in the morning and she's no suitcase and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm a bit annoyed now because what I'm wearing is all I have. So if this suitcase doesn't come in, I'm going to have to go and buy some clothes here in Vancouver somewhere. And that's not going to be too cheap, is it? So anyway, now I'm going to try and get um, a taxi maybe to up to my hotel downtown so great start isn't it to the joys of, of, of traveling people these things happen um presently never wouldn't recommend air canada um but maybe that's maybe that's just a once off although that woman says no they, they, they do this all the time they're losing people's luggage and everything all the time so anyway i'll see you downtown okay Right people, so that's it from um, Vancouver, that was the flight from Dublin to Toronto and onwards to uh, Vancouver, okay? So take care and stay tuned for the next video, um, it'll be somewhere in Canada, somewhere in Vancouver, sorry. Okay, take care, bye.